up, everybody? This is episode 16 on the Neutral Show. We got Platinum City Gaming owner Van Lattimore in the building. What up, so, what up, what up? Doing, great, great. Yourself, man? Good, hey. good. Um, Yeah, so uh, let me know a little bit about the store, like how, how long you had it, where's it located, and all the, the good um, details. Well, PCG's been around uh, officially for three years. Okay. Um, actually this past november uh it would make it three years and um i've been doing the underground stuff for quite some time mm -hmm. uh I'm, I'm 35 i've been doing it for about 15 years um but uh one day i was just like you know what i'd love to make this like a bigger thing than mm -hmm. just like our friends and yeah, yeah. Uh, involve a lot more people and PAX uh, was a huge motivator for that the first time I've been to every single PAX I haven't missed a PAX I, I just... haven't been to a single PAX yet. no yeah oh. I just have the time man like see now now you said that I'm gonna have to buy you a ticket so that way you can go this year it is just it's just a great experience I mean I bet man. you're talking about a huge space where everyone loves the same thing mm -hmm. and that's huge and yeah. um, I met so many people from all over the world um, I, I, I got a couple friends from Scotland mm -hmm. now and like I, I talked to them and yeah, yeah. it's it's a it's a great experience so um pax really motivated me to um push the lounge part of it because i'm just like you know this this needs to be on a regular scale for people like not just like oh, a once a year thing for the boston area yeah. and uh, i'm glad to see like new england um getting so big involved with community-based stuff like we have you guys uh here uh i know great value smashes around the connecticut area uh gu up more in the natick area um and it's just more and more places are coming around mm -hmm. and um we're very lucky over here too because you know we're all very friendly with each other oh, and yeah. it's more important to build the community together and that's what we've been doing exactly. and it's it's great i mean there's no community unless we put one out there for everybody yeah, so exactly. but um yeah so I, i've been doing pcg for uh three years now uh, i started off uh with uh i think 400 square feet mm -hmm. very very small spot very small spot i didn't know how it was gonna go yeah yeah so um, uh well we are recently looking for a new spot so okay. well, so you're in the same 400 square feet or? uh no so we went from 400 and we stayed there for a year and it was only a year and we were like okay we gotta do something bigger yeah. and within my same building there used to be a barber shop there and yeah. a good friend of mine uh owned the barber shop and he goes listen i'm leaving and i want to tell you before anyone else finds out he's like you need to have this spot and yeah. it was like a thousand square feet okay so it's, it's very similar actually almost very similar to yeah, that 1250 years yeah yeah that. so mine was very close yeah. mine would have been bigger but we had like a little back room yeah, yeah so um so we moved into there and we did that for two years and um that's when things really jumped up for us once we got bigger because now more people could come because they're like oh i'm not sitting on anyone's lap so this yeah, is yeah. this is big um we recently just left there in october um we kind of had an outgoing thing with the landlord there okay. uh the property is really old mm -hmm. so um there's just a lot of problems within the property yeah, yeah. and uh heat being one of them yeah, <laughs> no, that's a big thing. so i mean it could be 20 degrees outside and we feel like we're dying inside yeah. i mean you know what it's like the place gets yeah. packed and it's just like and um so we just kind of you know parted ways and i didn't replace the venue yet it was just so important for us to get out of there so um but right now we're currently looking at we're between a couple spots so we're hopefully going to finalize before february my goal is to be reopened by february or march but um we're continuously trying to host events mm -hmm. and um you know we have uh, a great partnership that we just hopefully will grow um with this event coming January 27th, which is uh, with the Brockton Rocks, which Definitely. is the uh, what's, the, what's the name of it? Battle Battle uh, Dome. Battle, Battle Dome. So nice. <laughs> where the name Battle Dome came from is uh, we used to hold monthlies for Street Fighter, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm a big, I love the video California Love because yeah. it reminded me of Mad Max, and that's where the theme of it okay, was. Yeah, and yeah. I always love that Battle Dome. Yeah, yeah, thing. I got you, I got you. So uh, I'm like, whoa. Well, I don't want to take anyone else's name. I don't want to go after the games because that's mm -hmm. kind of dying out. Like we're running out of ideas yeah. for events. So I, I thought of that thing. I was like, Battle Dome sounds like a good idea. So it was only Street Fighter. But then I'm like, monthlies, I feel like it's too often. So why don't we try to get like a bi-monthly and instead of just doing one event, like why don't we do all our events? Mm -hmm. So that's where we're trying to go with now with um, the Brockton Rocks where it's such a big place. We're like, all right, why don't we start doing... How many square feet is this place? Uh, I think... I think, uh, it don't don't quote me on it. I believe it's like 10,000. 
square feet. Okay, so let's, so let's say like 7,000 square feet. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Um, the area that we're getting, um, the whole area, like they're breaking it off in sections for mm -hmm. us. So I told them like for, for this first event, let's break it off to this one section. So the one section is, is easily like mm, – 2,000, 3,000 square feet. So it's a good size. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they give us the hall, but if the event starts to pile up, they will open the wall for us. And okay. we can, so they, they're willing to work with us. They really want to incorporate esports into that stadium. Okay. So they're just like, whatever we need to do that day, let us know and we'll do it. So um, there's no one else renting the hall that day, which is fantastic. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, uh, we can use as much space as we want. So I just didn't want to set their expectation like, hey, yeah, we're going to have 50,000 people here at our first event. Like, no, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's not so going to be that. What are games is the. So um, the games that we have going on there is uh, Smash 4, Melee, mm -hmm. and Street yeah. Fighter. Those are our, our premier games. Um, and then we have uh, Tekken 7, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. We had Injustice 2, uh, but you're going to be the first to know this. I haven't announced this yet. Um, we're going to replace Injustice 2 with Dragon Ball Fighter. Okay, because that, that, <laughs> that was my next question because I was looking at the fire. I'm just like, where the fuck is, the fuck is Dragon Ball? So, so the reason uh, – originally, the reason why I wasn't going to do it was because um, it was the day after. So I'm like, no one's going to be ready for this. Man, I'm doing a weekly the day of. Yeah. I was so, like, no I mean, gonna... like... so everyone keeps asking. And me, I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. Yeah. So I just I got everyone is. I just got <laughs> back in the Super. Um, so I started Super a couple months ago. I was I was like, no, I'm not watching Super. This isn't Dragon Ball. Yeah. I am extremely glad I got into Super. Yeah, like, yeah. Super is Yeah, I got to get into it. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, you, yeah. It's the first few is a little tough. Yeah. But once you get into it, it's Dragon Ball Z all over again. Yeah. Better, better. But um, yeah, so we are adding uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z on there, um, and we're gonna God. we're gonna make it a free bracket. Um, I'm just trying to work out what the prize is gonna be because I want to do a prize, but we're gonna make it free bracket since it's only the next day. So I'll, I'll give you guys a prize. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll give you guys a prize. Oh, that, that's what's – hell, yeah. All right, we'll have a prize. <laughs> there you go. That's covered. Oh, uh, no. Nah, then then what I'll do is I'll make an announcement that uh, you guys are uh, sponsoring that event, and that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, no that. problem, man. Anything I can hope with. Yeah, but um, uh, the Dragon Ball Fighter Z is uh, – I'm excited for that. that Dude. I might grind out that game. I definitely – like, I don't know. Like, I love Marvel to death, uh -huh. but it's just – I, th I feel like there's, like, a couple bugs in the game. Like, I hate, like, not being rewarded for blocking. Yeah. Like, I can't block and then jump and continue to block. I, you know, you get, like, that three frames. Yeah. That just, I mean, come on, man. Yeah. Like, I, I heard that's, like, the, the biggest flaw on Marvel. And I think it's always kind of been. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, um, for me, I've always had trouble getting the Marvel because I just feel like it's just a whole lot of kicking my ass. And I can't do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, in a game that's just so, like, heavy pressured, like... Being rewarded for blocking should be, like, a really big, like, thing. Mm -hmm. Like, the the act of guarding is just, eh. Like, it's way better than Ultimate. It's way better than that game. But, I don't know. Infinite is just, eh, the act of, I think that guard could be a little bit better. But yeah. Um, that's besides the point. Uh, Infinite, I feel like, had a bunch of hype when it first got announced. But as the game started getting ready to come out, it started to die because people were starting to be like, oh, this isn't the Marvel that we're used to. And I think it's going to take a long time for... I think, like, it was, like, hype, and it was up, and now it's going to be down now mm -hmm. since, like, Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to take until maybe, like, 2019 to slowly start going back yeah. up when, like, more characters actually get in the game yep. and, like, once they start building the, the roster out more. like. Do you feel uh, with games like that, they their popularity kind of gets better as they get older? Like, not just so much because of, like, they add more content, but just it, it takes a few games to make you appreciate the, the, yeah, because I, I, um, I think so because like I try to like watch um, the history of Ultimate, mm -hmm. and it was like almost like the same concept, like yeah. where it's like had the hype, and then it was just like no, and then all of a sudden it's just like this is like the the hypest game like to play. It was like yeah, almost yeah. what well, the second or third game before Street Fighter for every almost like Evo for like last what three or four years or something like yeah, that. Yeah, So I mean yeah. like it's just. I think it just has like it has to play through uh, its time. So like I think two thousand like early two thousand nineteen, I think it should start going back up. And and that would be great. I mean, uh, it's a good series. I'm a little upset because they didn't come with uh, Mega Man X. <laughs> Mega Man, my dude. Uh, but uh, like you said, more and more content will come out. And yeah. uh, I mean, like Injustice. Uh, please, guys, please announce how we're going to use Ninja Turtles. I just want to know, so that way I know if I'm going to play it or not. Because they yeah. still haven't announced how that's going to work. 
You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm, I'm like, I assumed when I saw that as it was gonna be some type of like a uh, how like Mortal Kombat did it when he picked one character and then he had three different stances. Yes. So if they if like yes. if you can hover over the dude, pick the Ninja Turtle and then choose which turtle that you wanted. And to that's, which that's, that's why that's prediction. why I was kind of thinking. Yeah, but, that was my um, prediction. I mean, to me, that's what makes the most sense. A lot of people got the theory that oh maybe they're gonna incorporate like a tag in the middle. That's new. Like I, we've never seen that. Like, yeah. I, I don't think you're gonna. You not you haven't seen it, so don't expect it all of a sudden. You yeah, know, exactly. like I, I definitely believe they're gonna have like a change in uniform and, and like you said, a stance where it's gonna be almost a completely different style. Mm -hmm. And I, I like that. I like that. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the turtles. I mean, um, my son, uh, my youngest son, is named Leonardo, <laughs> and uh, a lot of people will be like, "Oh, you name him after the artist or whatnot." And I go, "No." Um, I was watching Ninja Turtles, and me and my wife haven't didn't come up with a name for him yet she was still pregnant with him at the time and i called her and i said i know the name and she's like what leonardo she goes oh what made you come up with that i was like i'm watching ninja turtles <laughs> 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 i'm so watching ninja raphael is my favorite turtle but I, i'm not yeah like i'm not i can't i couldn't name my son raphael yeah i just i like the name leonardo so but uh, I'm, I'm hyped for that but yeah no I'm, I'm excited for this event um you know my goal with this event is to create another event in in the Massachusetts area, where I think bi 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 monthly was a smart idea. Yeah, like, I, just, I feel like a monthly is too often. Yeah, and was like I'm doing like kind of like the same thing for this year for invasion. Like I'm having like an invasion invasion, and mm -hmm. then every three months have mm -hmm. like a super invasion or whatever the name that we come up with. Yeah, yeah. It's just so like like the pop ones will probably increase, and like I'll try to hustle for more like out of state players to actually get in. So, mm -hmm. like, and try to build the attendance over, like, 100 all the time mm -hmm. just for, like, the, you know, the tri-monthly or something. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's like, you know, like, invasions get around, like, 50 to 60 people, but it's just, like, I, don't know, I feel like it's just, like, the same thing, like, every month. And and that's kind of where I got, like, with our monthlies um, for Smash, we just did it, okay, last Friday of the month. And it just got to a point where I felt like, okay, there's no difference. Like, it's the same thing. It's the yeah. same thing as our weekly. So what will make someone come out for a monthly opposed to the weekly? Like, it's it's just, I felt like it was just the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, no one's ever no one's ever complained, but I'm just like. Uh, yeah, to us, though. To yeah, us, yeah. Like, I'm like, come on, guys. I got I to gotta spice it up for you, you know? Yeah. Like, if I'm bored, you guys got to be bored. And I feel like um, the New England area, um, we are we have so much going on with Smash now, which is not necessarily a, a bad thing, but for us it, it kind of stinks because now it's just like we're running out of ideas of what we can do. So I, I think like an event like that, like a bi-monthly, it helps because it keeps things enriched. Yeah, and yeah. Um, with the with the Battle Dome, my my ultimate goal with it is to make it an event that involves everybody together. So like I don't even want it to be just a PCG thing. Like I want it to be a Unity thing that it's it's a you know a 12 hour day where everyone just plays their tournament and then have fun after like yeah, yeah. A, like after the tournaments are pretty much wrapped up i mean we're there to 11. uh the places that they have the bar open i'm gonna have music like i used to dj years ago i don't do it anymore because i can't deal with requests but um <laughs> it's, it's just i can't i can't yeah. <laughs> but uh it's gonna be music there and and for anyone that's ever been to pcg they know that's like my thing like i love music and I've even asked, I'm like, is, is it bothering anyone? They're like, no, this is kind of like your signature now. Like, you, yeah, yeah. you play music and, and keep it on. I won't do it during the tournament, so nobody worry. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, I like doing that. And I like keeping people entertained. And, and I think that's fun. And um, I don't want it to only be just about PCG because that's not what, you know, PCG is about. It's a, PCG is about being community, growing what's outside and inside. So this year, um, I plan on dedicating a lot more time focusing on other venues and, and trying to help people. Are you doing um, CT Gamer kind of again? I will be there, yes. Yeah, um, I'm helping with the League of Legends tournament that they're working on. Which uh, Jamie? So you like you like supplying computers or? Like, uh, like, no, what he you... he got um I believe the computers from Microsoft, so Microsoft's doing that. But like my background is technology, so okay. he wants he wants me to make sure that everything stays running, <laughs> pretty gotcha, much, gotcha. yeah, and stay in communications with them. But uh, with Jamie, I'm always like, man, wherever you need me, wherever you need me, I'm more than happy to to take part and help. Um, and that's just what I like to do. I like being all over the place. So last year I ran the um, Pokemon tournament. Yep, yep. I had no idea what I was doing as far as like for Pokemon. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I was like, what's the rule set? I have no idea what the rule set is. Yeah. So, uh, but that was fun. That was cool. It was only like six entries. And uh, it was this kid's first tournament ever. 
Mm-hmm. Like, for anything. And he was, like, super excited and nervous. And I'm just like, dude, just play. Just play like how you play at home and you're good. Yeah, I want to I want to try to talk to Jamie about bringing Pokemon DX to uh, CP GamerCon this year. That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. I got, like, uh, there's... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Brokely. He's like the TO that does Inferno for yep. us. Yep. So I'm like, I'll, I'll probably you know talk talk to him for, because I know we have a monthly coming up in in February. So for the March one, I think having the monthly at CP Gamer Con would be pretty good. That would be huge. Yeah. That would be that's a good idea. Yeah, because you have like all of the the you know the kids like running around, and they're like, oh hey, it's Pokemon. Yep. But let me like, you know, play it against other people in real life instead mm-hmm. of you know playing online. So I hope, I hope that would probably be good for them. So I thought last year's uh, CT Gamer Con turned out awesome oh it did i was i was shocked for the first year like i mean i'm not shocked because like jamie puts a lot of work into everything he does and uh with him working with mitch who, yeah, who mitch does, is a beast yeah he's so good man he just does everything like yeah. i thought now we're friends on facebook and <laughs> like i immediately friend requested him because he just seemed like he's somebody fun to follow yeah and uh i laugh every day he posts something even his reviews on movies uh but he's just he's so involved within uh comic book community movie community mm-hmm. and for him to take part and understand the gaming community realize the growth of it i thought this was huge and this is a great opportunity for our area like, yeah i think it's, it should be like almost like double the size yeah last year, man. oh i'm excited yeah, I, can't I can't wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah i can't i cannot wait like uh last year i stayed um, like a couple miles off from the hotel. This year, I'm staying at the hotel. Like I, I want to stay there. Yeah, yeah. That way, I can just be there all night. I it's... drove home every single night. But how far away do you yeah, live? It's like there? 55 minutes. Uh, like I don't really. But that stinks. Yeah, but like I rather <laughs> just I don't know. Like something that close, I rather just go home and just sleep in my yeah, own bed. Yeah, like... yeah. See, in Boston with the pack stuff, like we spend the whole weekend there. So we go down there Thursday, which they screwed me up now because now they made packs on Thursday. So oh, now, now it's four days. Thursday, now. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that's nice. So, um, but for me, it's easy because, like, I'll just go down there Thursday morning, spend night Thursday, stay there all weekend, and then come home Sunday. But it's just easier because I did that traveling back and forth, and, like, Boston sucks driving into. Oh. And then um, I just feel like, okay, I'm coming home, sleeping, like, two hours, and then getting up and doing it again. So I'm just like, yeah. We, we make it a bromance kind of, like, thing. We go with a group yeah. of guys. So, but, um, no, I'm, I'm super excited for it. GamerCon, I can't wait. I can't wait. Anime Boston's the weekend after that. PAX is the weekend after that. And then I think it's like chill for a little while, but then you got E3 coming, you know, oh, the yeah, next yeah. month. So it's a busy time of year, man. It's a really busy time of year. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I want I want something like that more for, for our area. You know, yeah, yeah. like, I, I definitely do. Like, Shine is great, and it's, it's a huge event. And uh, did they already... They already set in the plan for this year, Shine, for anything? Dude, I don't know, because there's a lot of things happening. I heard that, like, what the hell is that damn event? Evo is moving into August. Oh. So, like, Ooh. the events in August, like, I leave, like, all the time were Summer Jam, yeah. Shine, uh-huh. and Super Smash Con. Yeah. And now that you got... If you move Evo into it, so, that's a disaster. <laughs> that's so, a like, disaster. I don't know. Like, well, I mean, like, it's either one or two people are going to move to July mm-hmm. to, like, you know, reverse. Yeah. But, I mean, like, when Evo says, like, oh, we're going to move, dark, like, what are you supposed to do? It's yeah, the biggest gotta, gaming tournament in the world. Yeah, so you got to like, move your stuff. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think Shine's come out with a date yet. I know CEO has has their date already. Okay. In June, like, like, I think mid-June or early July or something like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But that's all I know about right now. I don't like, yeah, Super Smash Con hasn't even announced their date yet. So. Yeah. Oh, I, I was been talking. To Super Smash Con? I have not, dude. Last year I was supposed to go. Dude, go like, this year. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, when is it? Is it July? J- August. It was, it was. It was in August. Okay. They've been in August. Okay. But like, I, I don't know the day. I don't know if they're gonna switch it to July because of, uh-huh. you know, I, I don't know yet. So, but so definitely it, go, man. Uh, there's a good group. Uh, with the PCG boys, I call them, uh, with Buzz and uh, Mr. Will and uh, Nick and stuff, and they went last year and they were like, "Oh man, we should all go together." And I had it all hyped, and then I was like, "Guys, I can't go." <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I just, I can't. It's just too much commitment. But this year, I, I dedicated it. Um, actually, on my way up there, I, you know, I talked to my wife, and I was like, we got to go to Vegas to go to Evo. I was like, we can make a couple trip out of it. I was like, but we got to we gotta go. Like, yeah. I just, I have to be a part of that experience of never going and being. Neither have I, man. I got to go, too. Yeah, being so involved within this community, it's, it's, it's awesome because it's a smaller world now because of the internet. So think, like. Evo was so big locally, but now it's like, that's the Super Bowl. Like, that is the mm. Super Bowl in the United States. It's the Super Bowl of fighting games. And it's it's a, such a great thing that we have something like that, and it's just getting bigger and bigger, which is did, fantastic. Uh, did Evo Japan already happen, or is that coming up very soon? 
I think it happened last weekend, last this past weekend. weekend. I know people were talking about. So if it didn't happen this past weekend, it's this weekend. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I, I know check, it's. I gotta check that out. Yeah, I know it's it's a big thing. I know. Um, I think it happened already because there was a player that his sponsor bailed out on him last mm-hmm. minute, so he raised the Kickstarter to get there because he already gotcha. committed to yeah, the tournament. Yeah. So um, the sponsor bailed out on him, and he raised the Kickstarter, and everyone got him out there. So I don't. I'm pretty sure it just happened, but I'm gonna have to check out the results for that. So. Um, you know, uh, I can't, I don't know the last big event it was, but New England, man, I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, uh, was it light and Mars did really, really good. The last, uh, major, Mm -hmm. um, for smash four, uh, Burkish, uh, won for Burkish is uh, a Massachusetts player. Mm -hmm. I believe he's Massachusetts. I don't think he, he's from Connecticut. He's Massachusetts because I think he's from Boston area. Um, he just won, uh, a big fighting tournament in December when the, big fighting events out there so like I, i'm i always try to support like anytime i see like any from anyone from new england go yeah, yeah. I, I always like watching it like yeah, yeah. at least you know some of the matches if not all their matches so um it's great i know you guys got a lot of big plays out in, that are popping out of connecticut that's yeah, fantastic like, yeah, we're all trying to hit up a uh, frostbite yeah but i think all of new england's going out yeah. yeah the frostbite i know that's going to be a big one um, I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, I heard a lot of thing, good things last year about the event. That's the I was 20th, supposed to go, right? Yeah, I was supposed to go vet, the vendor at that one, but I went to Tampa Bay instead, so mm-hmm. I wanted some heat because yeah. it's fucking cold out here, man. <laughs> this last snowstorm, man. It, it's so funny because, like, I'm I'm someone that I love New England. Like, I'll never complain about New England. I love the change of weather. I'd rather have the change of weather than tur- uh, tornadoes and, oh, and yeah. earthquakes or or. Uh, spiders that that are the size of your head like i'm all set with all that's why i like new england yeah. um and i don't mind the snow uh just this one snowstorm i'm like all right i'm good <laughs> yeah yeah i'm good that's it for snow for me it was so in, in around our area the streets are still bad they haven't even finished plowing the sidewalks so it's like yeah. nobody can even walk on the sidewalk it's crazy it's crazy it's not good for us vendors i can tell you that the us venues that are trying to host tournaments like yeah, it kills us when it snows on our weekly and no yeah. one can make it out. Yeah, and then you're trying to shovel. Like, that ain't good. And your landlord don't plow the driveway. That ain't good. That ain't good. But, yeah, so, um, I mean, PCG as, as a venue, we're currently working on um, two places. One place is much bigger than what PCG was, and um, the other place is a, remotely around the same size but better in a location that there really is nothing going on. So um, we're in the mix of that. And, and like I said, our goal is to wrap that up before the end of January and hopefully be open by February. So I've been getting a lot of personal messages like, hey, when you when you coming back, when you coming back? I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying yeah. <laughs> like the biz- you guys don't understand, like this could have been the worst time for me to leave and try to look for a spot is during the holiday season. Like I got four kids, you know, like the holidays for them is just ridiculous yeah, yeah, I bet. but now but now we're in the new year i'm excited and um you know i i really want to support and go to other events not even just personally like for the business like for me personally like i enjoy going to the events um i want to uh i i own a minivan like i said i have four kids so yeah, i drive a minivan <laughs> i love it i love it uh if anything i want a bigger one but uh, one of the advantages of that is I want to start taking people that want to go to these other events that yeah. can't make it out there yeah, and exactly. start carpooling. So, like, a ride like this, like, a ride two and a half hours, isn't that's no thing for me. Like, I drive to New Hampshire uh, twice a year, and that's – I go, like, way up there. Little to New Hampshire, it's like a four-hour drive. And it's I'm just used to that. So yeah, it's I drive everywhere for events. I was like, going to say, for you, you drive yeah, all over the big place. Big house, CEO drove 18 hours Jesus straight. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Hey, 18 hours gotta, gotta go vendor man so yeah. that's how i keep those doors open yeah man. yeah yeah and i see that too i every time i watch an event i'm like dang he went all the way out there yeah man <laughs> good for you good for you yeah, i'm like i'm hitting genesis and then then frostbite mm-hmm. and then i'm going on a winter ball mm-hmm. and then ct gamer con in march and then what's in what's in april I can't. I think I can't think of anything in April. I and, think uh, April is a May. a slow month because of the fact that once they need to bring pound back. That's what they need to do for April. Also, the, they they didn't do pound last year either. No, did no. They? Pound was in if pound was in April. It was like that good, like, tournament that floated, mm-hmm. like you know April and May to get to the, you know June to get to uh, you know CEO and yeah. Smash and Splash. Do yeah. Smash and Splash? 
Go off for that one, bro. See, I want to go to that. Dude, just... <laughs> inside water park. Dude, they have a freaking pool where you swim up to, and they have, like, a bar. The first time I, I seen like, that. let's go. The first time I seen that, I was like, I need to go to this. <laughs> I need to go to this. So, like, my goal is to um, start, like, helping a lot of these Massachusetts players that can't make it up. Because it's, it's – I know you must see it. Like I see a lot of good players yeah. that can't always make it out. Like in in, in Mass, um, Hark, Hark is fantastic, and I don't get to see him in all these events. But that's mainly because like I know he works a lot and he's yeah. trying to do that real life thing. But and, and but then you got these high schoolers that are just breaking out that are getting really really good, but they have no means to get to any of these places. Yeah. People like Hero was lucky. Like I remember the first time I met Hero, and uh, that was in my first PCG, the 400 square foot place. And his father drops him off, and uh, no one really even heard of him because he was brand new to the scene. Yeah, yeah. And his father sits outside, and every time I go outside, I see his father say, I was like, your father sits out there the entire time? He's like, yeah. He's like, he's been driving me everywhere. And his father actually called me uh, before, and he's just like, yeah, no, he's really, really good. And you know, you you, you hear that you hear that all the time. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, all right, we'll see. And then everyone knows Hero. He's fantastic. So, um it, but not everyone is as blessed as someone like Hero, where his parents can understand what he's trying to do yeah, yeah, until exactly. they already see it. So um, I, I want to try to be that doorway. My my goal is to try to go up to New York every other month and, and bring some players down here. And that way, too, our scene gets seen. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, you're starting to be seen more in these majors because now they're popping up. But, you know, you got Mars, you got Light. But we're so much more deeper than that. And... Um, these guys are beating each other up, and it's like all these friendlies. It's great, but yeah. we got to get out this region. We got to stop threatening the New York crowd, the Florida crowd. Um, I know Florida. Yeah, we, 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 we just took um, Latendo. Oh really? Yeah, light one. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Oh hell yeah. It seemed, it, it just I love like watching. Seemed, light. Yeah, it seemed like he just walked <laughs> through that tournament. Did he? Honestly. I love watching him. He's so fun to watch. Yeah. Like he's so fun because he's just like the one player that just thinks outside the box. Yeah. Like how to play Fox. Like. Yeah. Yeah. There's no one that plays like him, man. Yeah. He should, like, if he keeps hustling the way he is, if he doesn't make, like, PGR, like, top 12, like, I'll be I'll, surprised. Yeah. Yeah. He's just, he's a, um, a, such a nice person. He's very friendly. He's willing to sit down with people and play with people that even he don't know. And, and I love that. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, players that are like that are, are big to me. Um, you know, uh, and Tarps, uh, did it. Uh, which was which was really big. Um, it's just so many people that I've seen just at my lounge sit down with kids that plan on not even really probably getting into it, mm -hmm. and they sit down with them and show them a few things. And then before I know it, now they come in every week to play to try to get better because of that top player that actually took the time to show them. And they're like, this is awesome. awesome. This is awesome. So um, I think New England is very well known for that, and um, I, I, I love that. I love that unity, and I think that's why, you know, People like you, Jamie, um, Ed, like for us to fight for our community is such a big thing. And I'm glad we're all able to work together because like a lot of other businesses, they're just like, man, I'm trying to make a business. I'm trying to make money. But a lot of those other people don't realize is that, you know what, your community don't grow if it's just you. If you're sitting there trying to, you know, bury everybody all the time, that community won't grow. You can't literally take up all of Connecticut. I literally can't take up all of Mass. It's impossible. It's yeah. impossible. So by allowing and helping and extending that help to other venues that are a little bit further, you're now getting those middle grounds and those people can go to both. So, and I, I love that. I absolutely, I absolutely love that. So, and for New England to be able to do that is great. It's great. So small things and, and, and big things like this, you know, reaching out, like this is huge to me. Like this is awesome. You know, I. Yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. I mean, like episode, like, you know, like these like short episodes, I mean, you know, you get it decent amount of viewers you know mm -hmm. 50 or so but mm -hmm. wait until episode like 160 yeah you know like, yeah yeah exactly. get there. just i've been actually doing a podcast i've been doing it because i did it before i opened bcg so a little bit like eight nine years maybe um i do one show uh, a week mm -hmm. and um at first it was just fun so it was like staying on the weekly basis was very rare but like we would just do it like maybe once a week once every other week and then all we do is just talk about gaming, nothing special, and yeah. we do it live. And we were we went to uh, started off with livestream.com, and uh, that was before Twitch was ever oh, yeah, yeah, even yeah. created. And then uh, we went to oh, I can't remember what else they had after livestream. They had something else. And then 
I was hesitant on Twitch because I thought Twitch was literally only for gamers, like anyone that wants to play games. Yeah. And then when I started seeing talk shows on there, I was like, okay, I, we'll make that. Yeah, like it. talk shows didn't happen until like a couple years. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that it just it took some time, but like not, like now they're in a really good direction. Right oh now, yeah, so. Twitch is Twitch is national television for right, gamers. Exactly, it is. It's it's great. So we've been doing Twitch for about four years now, and I love it. And um, you know, we get we get a handful of views. Like we get five or ten that may pop in, join the chat, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm awful with uploading those videos. Like the <laughs> like the the weeklies and stuff. I just didn't want to get it all mixed up. But we're getting stronger with what we're gonna do. Like um, we're gonna consider... just ask ask somebody in your community to do it for you. Yeah, like well, Ajax does all of mine. Like he's literally lifted that burden off of me. Oh, that's so awesome. I don't have to do any of that anymore. I just, a lot of like... people understand like the small thing of just uploading videos is a lot because like, you don't want yeah because the... people want to see like their gameplay yeah and people, like they a lot of people like like um light for example like back in the day like when he was you know getting like top eight consistent and stuff he would watch his game like, yeah he wants to study it so i, I remember anytime i miss a week i get a message hey uh are you gonna upload yeah, this about, yeah. <laughs> i'm like no 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 so we try to stay more consistent with that but the what we're gonna do now is you know one of our main focuses at pcg is going to be streaming and uh we're gonna consider our network pcg live and that was just the name of my show. Now we changed it to PCG Talk. And uh, we went out, We were on Wednesdays, but Thursdays worked out better. And pretty much on Thursdays, all we do is just talk whatever gaming. And a big thing now that I'm doing is um, I'm advertising. Like I, last week, I talked about how you had Invasion coming this Saturday. So we talked a little bit about that. Talked a little bit about what's going on with GU. Talked a little bit about what's going on locally. Advertised some of the events. And then we just talked about what's going on in the gaming industry. Just yeah. like just random talk. Um, and I plan on having a lot more guests. And like uh, I'd love... I'll reach out to you. I'd love to have you on. And yeah, man, uh, you don't even up. have to come all the way down there. We can do it right through Google Hangouts and just have you right on there because that's what we do. Um, and, yeah, and we plan on just trying to do more live play. Mm -hmm. Give me an excuse to catch up on some games because I got yeah. I got to catch I'm so behind. I'm <laughs> so behind. So, but, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it for PCG. Um, the bi-monthlies we're picking up. Uh, all of February, we're back to our weeklies um, in Taunton. Uh, my old church uh, allowed us to use their basement, and their basement's like 2,500 square feet. And we did the Halloween special that we did with uh, South Coast Smash down there, and everyone loved it. We had a pool table, we had a hockey table down there, and they were just like, there's so much room, this works. So we made an agreement with my church. They were like, yeah, we love it, and we can have you guys. So all of February, we're back in Taunton. Uh, we're in talks. March is such a busy month. I don't, it is. I don't it know is. if we're going to do anything in March, but... Um, we have an announcement we're going to make that we haven't made yet. Uh, Boneheads, which is a, a, a restaurant in Fall River, uh, a good friend of mine owns that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like a rock band restaurant. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. Yeah, they have one close around this yeah. way, I believe. So he um, he has one in Fall River, and it's huge. And he's like, Mondays, I'm closed. He's like, I'd love for you to just take over the place. So our Mondays, we're going to make it like an adult-themed video game night where one nice. whole section's about board games, the other one's going to be like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, all that's hooked up. And then on stage, we're going to, because he has a big stage, uh, have rock bands set up, so it'll be like a karaoke night, but with <laughs> rock bands. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I plan on pushing that Mondays. We're only like 16 minutes from UMass Dartmouth, so I'm hoping to kind of get that crowd down. So, I'm, uh, man, for me, I'm all about fun. Like, that's that's what I care about. Like, when I got into this, I didn't even plan on hosting tournaments. I yeah. had no intentions. And then once I started getting involved in it, I'm like, damn, like I, I can't not host a tournament. Like yeah, it's yeah, so big yeah. around here. So that's um, – and when everyone came to PCG, you know, they were so serious about the tournaments. I'm like, listen, guys, the tournaments are great. Um, stay competitive. But after you're done, like so many people get salty when they get owned to and they just leave. Yeah. So I'm like, we got to figure out the way to keep them involved because that's going to make Amateur you... bracket. Yeah, like... Dude, like, a lot helps. of people have, like, like, we introduced it, I think, six six or seven months ago. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, now that a lot of people that went O two 2 and they're just like, um, they got up and left. And now they like stick around and they play in the, the free amateur bracket that we do. It helps. And then like the winner, we get like free venue next week. Or See, something. that's great. See, that's so, great. Like, ever since we've done that, like I, I've seen like the people that c come in and they go O two 2 or 1-2, mm -hmm. they, they end up staying to like 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. playing in the in the amateur bracket too. So I mean, it helps a lot. Yeah, definitely. You just, you got to remember um, that video games are designed intentionally to have fun with. And a lot yeah. of people forget that when they get competitive mode, which 
I mean, you're competing like you should. But at the same time, like, you got to remember why you fell in love with it and why you wanted to stop competing. So when you lose, just, you know, take that loss for a few minutes and then shake it off. Be like, all right, let's do something else. Let's have some yeah. fun. So and that's that's what I'm about. Like, I'm trying to get that fun factor. So, so uh, any, any any last thoughts about Battle Dome? Anything else you want to say? Um, it's going to be a great time. <laughs> uh, we, we just announced today uh, One Up Games in Plainville is going to be there. They're going to bring a couple extra setups um, for – Fun things. They're gonna bring so Mario. How, how many? How many setups do you have like per game? Uh, so for Smash, we're looking to have ten, uh, but right now we're working with six because we're we're anticipating, you know, 50, 60 people. We're not expecting like huge numbers, but now it's starting to kind of build up steam a little bit. So we're like, all right. So as the people start to register, we're starting to add more systems. What's the to it. What's the the URL link for the smash.gg uh, it is smash.gg backslash pcg battle dome so right. get, Yo, the Ellie, get that right here so, we, <laughs> so people can pcg get battle dome uh try to keep it simple what we're gonna do is just number the battle domes I w i've always wanted an event that i can number so i was just like <laughs> pcg battle dome yeah we're gonna number that yeah so um we got one up games they're bringing some stuff we have um microsoft store and natick they're coming they're gonna bring fortnite so we're gonna have a few setups for fortnite and i have um, to play that again oh man it's so so I played with my brother and my two kids, eight and thirteen, and uh, we got first place. It was my first time getting first place, and we didn't know we won. And then all of a sudden, first place came up. My kids came running because they were all over the place. Yeah. One was from the upstairs, one was downstairs, and they ran up. They're like, "We just won!" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, nah, it's no thing." But inside, I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah." So, um, but that's that's gonna be the on the side for fun. Mm -hmm. So, um, the thing about Fortnite is like we can't set up a room. So that way everyone there can play together. But what will happen is like a team of four can get together and they can enter a room together. So, yeah. but you'll be on the same team. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Uh, I'm hoping you're going to join us. That would be awesome. What, if you join us, uh, for a battle, a battle dome. You're going to be definitely joining us for that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll be down there. All right, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, you'll be down there. Um, I, I, I know Jamie's in the middle of moving, so I didn't want to. And dude's like, I, it's, it's either like what, what, like when I hear that he's always moving, it's like, is the is like the mall like fucking him over or is it like so is like, this is like the mall it's just like one thing after another with him it's like fuck dude like the mall is such a crappy place to be in and it's it's good especially being in the, something like the natick mall but if you're not like a sears or yeah. a uh, a best buy or something like that they don't care you know they'll move you around and that's that's the problem with some of those contracts that you sign with them they'll move you around and and I, I I feel so bad for him, but he does so he does so good. Like Jamie is such a a, a laid back guy. Like I would have I would have blown them all up by now. I really would have because like that first spot that he had was like such an awesome spot. It was right oh, there yeah, inside. Yeah. And then they moved them inside, which was bigger. It was awesome inside, but it's just like he was just like I'm so upset. <laughs> I bet man. I'm so upset. So, but um yeah. So right now, like I I tried to limit it to how many we had. Um. I just didn't want to overwhelm it for the first event. So um, I think for the next one, I'm going to try to reach out to New York and see if we can get like a New England versus New York kind of thing for some of the events. Mm -hmm. I think it would be I think it would be fun. So um, make a little friendly challenge to the, to the group out there. But um, other than that, we're open 11 to 11. Uh, we're going to have uh, the bar open. We're going to have they're going to serve food. So you're going to have a choice of like pizza, nug, chicken, stuff like that. I think they said they're going to do burgers, too. Um, and then outside of there, there's like Burger King, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts. There's like, oh, yeah, there's everywhere. Yeah, that strip is just packed with places. So, uh, if you come a long ways, there's there's a Holiday Inn that's uh, not too bad right outside the mall. It's like 10 minutes from there. Um, I might be announcing to help out some of the Boston people. There's a tea station like 10 minutes from there. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna set some times and say, hey, if you want to come down, uh, I'll come pick you up at the tea station, and these are the times that I'll be at the tea station. Um, so to give those people that don't have cars an opportunity to come down from Boston to still take a tea. Well, you know, so. they invented Uber, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. It's probably like a five dollar ride. Yeah, no, actually, actually, I did look it up, and it is a, it is a five dollar <laughs> ride. But some of the, like sometimes I feel weird. Like I've never had a bad experience with Uber ever, ever, yeah. and I've used Uber you know quite a bit, especially in Boston. Um, I've heard some stories. <laughs> I've, just, I've heard be, some stories. That'll be a conversation for <laughs> Yeah, that's a time. conversation for another day. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Battle Dome, uh, January 27th, Melee, Smash Wii U, Marvel, Street Fighter, Tekken 7, and now Dragon Ball Z. Now Dragon Ball. And not 
Injustice. Not Injustice. We're gonna get, we're gonna get rid of Injustice. No one I'll, no one plays I'll, Injustice. I'll try to bring like a setup for Dragon Ball. Cool, I'll cool. Try if I if yeah. I can. My goal is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna at least for me have three setups. Um, but from the sounds of it, I think I'm gonna need more because I think a lot of people are looking forward to this game. So yeah, uh, man. You, I, if I if I were you, man, like I would just jump on promoting the shit out of the Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I like I was so I would just focus on it heart like right now like right when you go get home man <laughs> be like yo drag like make up I want to see a post by three o'clock be like yo Dragon Ball Z at battle it's Little. so funny because I'm in the parking lot in in uh, my small chat group I have they were like oh, man everyone's asking me are we, are, is Dragon Ball gonna be there I was like I just haven't announced it yet I was like all right you know like, what, what the fuck you I'm, for, I'm just bro? I'm like, just gonna damn. announce it I'm just gonna I really thought I really thought because it was a day after no doesn't one, matter yeah it doesn't yeah. matter man. Yeah, no, I gotta. I gotta people get on will be grinding to like three o'clock in the morning just to try to get their team up, and then people will be there at Battle Dome trying to win that. Yeah, trip. yeah, you know what? I'll do that. I'll do that. All right, guys, for uh, Platinum City, Van Lattimore, Drizzen. Thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank man. you, guys. Thank you. Peace out, guys. Thank you. Peace out.